Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 6th of February 2023. Starting off with the news updates from the Supreme Court. The Honorable Supreme Court, while hearing the petition to curb the killing of animals and switching to lab generated meat for consumption, observed that in a country like India, meat is an affordable means of protein for the poor. Next, Supreme Court while holding that the secular state like India must prevent hate speech at any cost, directed that the meeting proposed by Sakal Hindu Samaj to be held in Mumbai on February 5 should be videographed by the police and that the content should be reported back to the court. Next, Supreme Court, while observing that the encroacher can't be termed as a transferee for the purposes of list pendants under Section 51 TPA, has held that where the owner of a property establishes his title, denying the recovery of position would only amount to allowing the encroacher to purchase a man's property against his will. Next, Supreme Court has held that for the purposes of pay revision, employees who retired under the voluntary retirement scheme cannot claim parity with other employees who retired upon reaching the age of superannuation. Coming to the news highlights of the High Courts, the Delhi High Court while upholding the use of contra preferentum rule by an arbitrator in order to interpret a contract has held that if the arbitrator uses a contract executed between the parties to determine a dispute, the clauses of the contract should, in principle, be construed contra preferentum, that is to say, the clauses should be interpreted against the party that drafted the contract. For the next news update. Bombay High Court, while observing that teachers are the backbone of the education system, has held that it would be difficult to maintain discipline if teachers are under the constant fear of allegations, has held that the use of some physical force by a teacher with no malefied intention is to correct the child and it is not an offence. Next. Madras High Court has recently made the e-filing mandatory in both the principal bench in Madras and the Madurai branch. This facility is in initially compulsory for anticipatory bail applications only. The court has also introduced an online certified copy application portal for issuing the certified copies of the judgment orders and the documents. This concludes the news for today. Thank you very much.